Hi everybody, Jeff Lewandowski from Traders Exclusive from the CME floor. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about the grains again. Let's review when I was here three weeks ago for the acreage planting report. Um, it was uh, it was all about the weather, I said at that point. And for the next, next three weeks, we've had a historic drought, as you all know, causing grain prices to go to historic highs. In the last two months, we've seen corn go up well over 50% in price, and soybeans as well have gone up 30 plus percent. Uh, so what now? What can we look forward to? Well, the uh, progress report of the crops has been very poor. In fact, it's rated poor for almost 60% of the corn that is reflected in the prices. Uh, the soybeans as well uh, are, are having upward price pressure. But looking forward, there's something on my radar that's causing me to look for possible downside action in the price. Uh, that would be the commitment of trade report. If you look at this report, you will see uh, very large short positions taken by the uh, commercial traders. Take that into account with the small traders that have large uh, long positions. Normally when I see this uh, there is a, uh, a battle usually lost by the small trader unfortunately and if that happens we can expect some downside pressure in these grains. So my trade, uh, my option trade, how would I take advantage of this? Well I think we should look at some put spreads. If we're looking out at the months that apply to these crops which is December for the corn and November for uh, the soybeans we have a lot of time left in these, in these options, over 100 days in the December options and just under 100 in the November. So buying some premium, we're not going to have right now, we're not going to have a lot of exposure to decay. So look at some put spreads out in, in the corn and the beans to take advantage of some downside pressure. Uh, with, with what's going on, you can look at some far out of the money put spreads. We've had some historic moves, as we said. Look for some retracements between 30 and 50 percent of the move we've had in the last two months to give you some guidelines of where to position these put spreads. So uh, from the CME floor, Jeff Lewandowski from Traders Exclusive, uh, wishing you good luck and good trading.